Why do my trainers squeak when I walk down the corridor? Why is it when I cook a poppadom it curls up? Is there life on other planets? Well, these are the sort of questions I get asked every week on BBC Radio Manchester. I'm the resident scientist. Now, some of the questions are just plain silly. Others are deadly serious. But what's really surprised me is that turning up in a studio, answering these random questions, has reminded me why I love being a scientist. I'm fascinated about how things work. I don't just want to know how people react to things, let's say horrible noises, I want to know why they respond that way. I don't just want to enjoy beautiful landscapes, I also want to admire the fantastically complex interactions which go together to make what I see. But why should I be so interested in knowing what's going on? Now, I remember being good at science and maths at school, so maybe it's not so surprising that I became an engineer. Nowadays I design stuff used by architects to make buildings sound good, to make classrooms where students can hear the teacher and studios where music can be recorded without being horribly distorted. But was I born to be a scientist? Was my brain wired up in such a way that I was predestined to be scientifically curious? Or maybe something happened when I was a young child before I can now remember? I was out with my parents and my kids a few years ago in Spain. We were on holiday together when one of the kids announced, how do grandad and grandma know everything? Now neither of the grandparents are pub quiz fanatics, nor are they frustrated mastermind contestants, but they are both scientists. And what they were doing with my children fascinated me. They were getting the kids thinking, getting them to wonder and question what they were seeing and why things were happening in the way they were. This must have been what my childhood was like. My parents must have instilled a curiosity in me that I have never lost and I hope I'll never lose. Who knows whether my children will become scientists, but whatever they do, I hope they have a fascination about how things work. I wonder what question I'll be asked next. And I wonder if I'll know everything like Grandad and Grandma. <laughs>